Hi, I'm Kathy Johnson from Pyramid of Potential, and this is video 35 of 60 of the Harnessing Learning Potential video series. Today we're talking about color, scotopic sensitivity syndrome, also called uh, Erlen syndrome. What it's all about is some people, when they are looking at black text on white paper, that um, the text on that paper vibrates, moves, um, lifts off the page, causes them pain, um, an eye strain in their eyes, and that color can make a difference and make it better. Quick story here. So there was a boy, he was in um, second grade when his mom asked me to help him to read. And I did. He was having vision therapy done at the same time. Once we were done with the reading, she asked me to stay with him for the rest of the year, which I did, and just helped him out. And at the end of the year, summer came, summer ended. We go in, I went in um, for the next year, and I realized that the vision therapy didn't stick. It's like, um, I didn't want to make them have to go through that again because it's expensive, it's time consuming, it can even hurt. So um, I've got other tools in my toolbox like simple eye exercises and primitive reflexes. So we did those and his vision improved during the year and we moved on and we went through the year, his third year, uh, grade three, uh, doing that. Then summer came, summer ended, and mom had me come back in um, for his fourth grade. And I go in, and even those didn't stick. Now, if something doesn't stick, it's because of regression. So I just want you to know that. And um, so regression can come from trauma. Uh, he was quite traumatized. He had a uh, syndrome called periodic fever syndrome, where he could have a um, elevated fever of like 104 or 105. Um, so he had some real issues. Anyway, so the simple exercises and uh, primitive reflexes didn't stick either. And so I was looking for something that would help him. Um, and what I came across was colored overlays. And I'd heard of them, but I didn't believe that just using a piece of colored cellophane could help somebody actually improve their reading. So, uh, but I, you know, fell in love with this kid and I really wanted to help him. So I bought a set of overlays. They weren't that expensive. And when they came in, uh, we went through and green was his color. Suddenly he could read and um, read well and fluently and continuously. So from that point on, I screen for color. So um, here is what can look, it can look like if somebody uh, has an issue with this uh, scotopic sensitivity syndrome. On the left side is what they see when it's black on white paper. Um, and they, they copy, and that's how they made this particular thing is from what the parent, or what the, what people saw. And on the right side is um, once they had chosen the best color, they then copied it again and what they saw. So much, much better. So the next thing that you and I are going to do is I'm just going to show you a few things that you can do to screen for color. Uh, you can get a set of overlays from Erlen.com they have 10 different colors, or you can get a screening kit from See It Right, and they have 24 different colors. And so the examples that I just showed you came from See It Right, and uh, the colors that I'm about to show you now came from See It Right. The first thing you do is show somebody um, some text on white paper and ask them to stare at a specific point on there and you ask them do the words move or stay still make sure you use both move or stay still so they don't know what it's supposed to be um, are they blurry or clear are the words too close together too far apart or just right and you can ask them if their eyes hurt or they feel fine the next thing you do is put a 
uh, color on top and go through the questions again. Do they move or stay still, blurry or clear, etc., etc. Uh, compare that, have them compare that to the white and say which one is better. Now in this case, let's say that they said the yellow was better. Well, then we're going to compare that to another color. And so I put the dark blue on top and have them compare uh, which one is better, the yellow or the dark blue. So this is how we do this. We go basically through the colors and um, pick the color that they can see under the best. In See It Right, they've got a whole step-by-step -step procedure laid out for how to test for which colors. And then you can buy your colored overlays through them or, as I said, through Erlen.com. Uh, I do not suggest that you get the colors just as um, colored folders or colored tabs from, say, an office supply store, mainly because then you're going to miss out on colors. You may have noticed when you looked at uh, the yellow and the blue, I picked two very, very different colors, that white might be better, yellow might be better, or blue might be better. And everybody's different. So um, you want to make sure that you have enough of a variety of colors that you get everybody's best color. According to Sally Goddard, in her book, uh, Reflexes, Learning, and Behavior, she writes that scotopic sensitivity syndrome comes from a retained moro reflex. So make sure and integrate those primitive reflexes. It's so important for vision. That's it for now. See you soon.